Alan Solos here, the Passive Income Guru, and this video tutorial explains to you how to set up MT4 on your computer and uh, check your account history. Right, so what you want to do is you want to uh, go to this website uh, to download the MT4 platform. Um, this, this, this is for Mac, so I'm going to combine this video for Mac users and for Windows users. Now for Windows users, okay, if you go to the fps.com website and you log into your account, um, in the, in the right hand corner over here, you'll see that here are the different setups that you can, or, or rather MT4 installations that you can download to your to your pc i found that the mac os version does not work uh, i'm sure that the windows version does work now uh, with me and my robot you're using the mt4 platform so download the mt4 platform so uh, pause the video go and download the mt4 platform now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video right so now that you've downloaded the platform uh, on a windows machine you can just install it uh, and run it i'm sure you know how to do that for a mac user it's a little bit more complicated so i'm going to go into detail for the mac users now um, if you're not a mac user you can just fast forward uh, this video and um, on the screen here will tell you exactly what minute you need to um, fast forward the video to to continue with this video uh, which will be connecting your mt4 uh, platform to your forex account right so uh, for mac users under this video uh, or above this video rather is a link to the uh, download section of um, um, the mql5 mt4 platform um, so if you can click on that now so please pause the video go and click on that uh, button now um, to download the dmg file once done you can come back to this video and resume the video Right, so now that the file is downloaded, you need to go and locate it in your downloads folder. So please go to your downloads folder now. Please go, go and locate that file. So please pause the video, go and locate that file now. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. So double click on the, um, on the icon, it'll open the file and uh, it'll then ask you what you need to do and you need to drag the mt4 application into the applications folder so please pause the video please go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video so as you can see it's done it's installing uh, the application to the applications folder uh, once it's done we can then uh, carry on with the process so i'll just pause the video and uh, resume it when done Right, so to find the application, what you need to do is you need to click on the application section over here and then find the MetaTrader file over there. So uh, please pause the video. Please go and do that step now. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. So you just double click on the application and the application will open. Now, generally speaking, what will happen is it'll say that you're not allowed to open this application because it's not approved by Apple. So what you do is, is that you actually click on your Apple icon over there and go to your system pre preferences. So please pause the video. Please go and do that step now. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. So just uh, click on the open section over there and um, I don't think it will open let's just have a look here uh, it hasn't opened so we need to actually go to the security settings so if the security settings aren't already here just click on those dots over there and then you would go to uh, security and privacy so please pause the video please go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video so if if, if your mt4 has opened then you won't need to do the step i've already done the step and that's why mt4 has opened in the background but for you it won't have opened so what you'll need to do is you'll need to uh, configure your machine to be able to open mt4 so how that will what what, what will happen is is that you'll need to unlock this little button over here and you'll either have to input your password or use your fingerprint to do it and then in this section over here there'll be wording that says open this application anyway and you'll click on this app uh, uh, to allow it and then um, it should open once once you've done that step you can then close this um, this window over here so please pause the video please go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video now once uh, the, you've done the step i'm not sure if it's before or after um, you've clicked this button maybe when you click on the 
uh, MT4 installation or the icon again to open it or in your application section when you go here and you and you double click it to open again it'll open another file and ask you to install it that's the one application now one is um, just a, a, a small version of uh, Windows and it allows you to run Windows applications without you having to install parallels. It's very very clever. So um, uh, if if it should it should that window should come up automatically when it does just click on yes to install and then install the program once that disappears then you can come back to the applications folder and then double click here and then um, MT4 should open. Now what you need to do is you actually need to add the FPS real server in here. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that together. So what you need to do is you actually need to go to your FPS website or the forex broker that you're using. Uh, so please pause the video, go and log into your forex broker now. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. Now I'm gonna be just uh, showing you the center account, my demo account for now, um, just for the uh, dem demonstration purposes. So in once you click on your account, it opens up your account settings. And in the section over here, it says there the server IP. Okay, so you act you need to highlight and copy that server IP. So please pause the video, go and do those steps now. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. Then what you need to do is you need to go back to your MT4 installation and where it says add, you need to paste your, F, uh, your, your, your IP address in there and then click on the enter button on your machine, not the scan button. Don't click on scan, just click on the enter button and then it'll say, it'll, it'll, it will, um, connect to that IP and how you know that it is connected to that account or to that server it says here your milliseconds that it has connected at okay so please pause the video go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video now what you need to do is you need to click on the next button which will take you to your account login information so please pause the video go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video now if you've already have an account which i'm sure you do otherwise you wouldn't be able to have found the, that ip address you need to click on the existing uh, trade account and over here you need to put in your login uh, your login information and your password now with fps uh, i'm not sure how it is with other brokers but with fps when they issue you a password your password is good for 14 days okay after the 14 days that password then expires and you actually need to recreate a new password so uh, i'm going to now if you do have a vpn with me and you're renting a robot if you change your password then you'll need to log into your account uh, into your VPN, okay, and make sure that your MT4 is connected to the FPS account. Once you've changed your password on the FPS website, okay, so if you go over here and you change the password over here and you generate a new password, your, your MT4 login, okay, your MT4 on the VPN is disconnected from uh, from FPS, so you need to reconnect it. So there, uh, so please make sure that your MT4 is trading on the VPN at all times. Okay, so I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. So uh, um, you can go ahead and do that now. If you know your password, you can uh, your username and your password. You can just enter it in here, and um, we can we can carry on uh, we can carry on from there. Okay, so please pause the video. Please go and do those steps now. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video right so uh, you're at that point of uh, putting in your details now um, if you're if you're at your if you've clicked the next button and it's asking you for your login details please make sure over here it actually says the correct um, server of your account now remember that we we put that we, that is on your FPS uh, account details whether it's real server 6 or real real server 4 uh, so please make sure that you are using the correct server so over here mine says here um, 4567 uh, 443 that matches my account and then over here I'm going to enter in my account details and my password so please pause the video go and make sure that you've done that step correctly once done you can come back to this video and resume the video
So once you hit the OK button or the login button, it'll then log you in. If you have a challenge logging in, it means that your password is either expired or you've entered in the, lo the wrong username or password. Please make sure that you've entered the, wrong, the correct details. That way you can log in perfectly and you can see in the bottom right hand corner that the numbers are flashing and that way we know that we are connected to the FBS server. Okay, now you have an opportunity to, um, to check your um, account details on your local computer without you having to log into your VPN all the time. Um, and uh, your, there won't be the expert advisor here. Okay, so my expert advisor is only available on the VPN. It's not available over here. So you won't be able to edit your, um, your robot settings on your local MT4 installation. The only place you can edit your uh, robot settings is on the VPN. Okay, so now that you have this, uh, your account logged in to your broker, we can now download the history of uh, of our account and start segmenting our history and seeing which robot yields the most amount of profit on 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 your account. So what you would need to do is you would actually need to firstly set up your account history tab so click on the history tab now so please pause the video please go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video the next step is you need to right click anywhere on the screen and then over here where it says comments you just click on the tick the comment section so please pause the video please go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video now what's happened is is that you can see that all your uh, the different comments my robots have a comment section that way we know which trades belong to which robot so i'm using a couple of robots on this machine so there's the apache this is another ea that i'm using so if i actually just uh, click on uh, let's do that again if i click on the column it'll actually um sort the the, the trades out for me in um uh, in alphabetical order so i'm not quite sure where my uh where my headline my headings have gone but um I see that the MT4 on Mac is a little bit glitchy, but uh, if you resize it, so if you hover your mouse over the section over here, over the uh, the terminal section, and your your cursor turns into a horizontal line with two arrows, you can resize it. So if your menu does disappear, you just mouse over the, the bar on the terminal, and then you can uh, resize this over here, and then you can sort your columns um, in alphabetical order. So each column you can sort in alphabetical order. So please pause the video, go and sort your data out in alphabetical order. Once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. Right, so the next step that we want to do is we want to choose a date for your history that you want to analyze. So if you right click anywhere in this in this area on the trade section, you can choose um, a date period. You can choose last three months, last month, all history or a custom period. So I'm just going to choose um, I'm going to choose a custom period and I'm going to choose it just for today. Um, for today and I'm going to say okay. So now what's happened is it's now going to share only or, or render all the information, all the trades that were made only today and then I can start segmenting uh, what, um, what, what EA is making me the most profit. Okay. Now to get this information onto your local computer, what you need to do is so please pause the video, go and do that step now, go choose a date, and then come back to this video and resume the video. So what we want to do now is uh, we want to save this report, we want to save it as detailed report. So you right click in anywhere in this area here, and you click on save as detailed report, and it'll ask you where you want to share it. Now on a Windows machine, you can just download it to your um, uh, to your uh, downloads folder on a mac it's a little bit more complicated so when you set up mt4 i think it would have asked you to install one okay of which you had to install one otherwise um uh, the mt4 application would not work so one is basically a mini version of windows it takes up a little bit of space on your drive but it's not um it's not that much it's a mini version of your windows and you've got here you've got your mac desktop over here top you can just click on your mac, de mac desktop and then you can say save it as save as html if you've already saved one you can say overwrite it or you can give it a new name so please pause the video please go and do that step now once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. Now, what will happen is, is that the statement will automatically open in the next, uh, on the next screen. And uh, this is where you can highlight the information and uh, only highlight from the ticket, uh, from the ticket information. 
uh, scroll down and you can uh, just highlight all the information on the screen um, let's try that do that again so just wait for it to highlight all the information when you get close to the bottom you can start slowing it down and then you can highlight everything let go and you can click on control C which is to copy or you can right click and then click on the copy button so please pause the video please go and do those steps now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video now over here you can uh, you can just open up a new um, in Excel you need to create a new template or a new window screen so please open uh, Excel now uh, blank Excel so please pause the video please uh, go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video now over here you can paste the information into your um, Excel spreadsheet and because we've sorted it in uh, in the correct order you can actually see here that these this is the profit okay of your Apache and the profit of the Apache is equals to $28 for today so we can work out 28.73 for today and my other robot has created let's have a look how much profit the other robot has created we can go over here we can highlight everything and we can say that this robot has created 11.11.81 okay so we now know that the Apache has generated more profit than the other robot so now you can start sorting your data and start checking exactly um, um, what's going on right so i hope that you found this video interesting and if you did uh, please uh, follow the uh, instructions on the rest of the video and i'll see you on the next video before you go uh, if you'd like to earn a little bit of bitcoin i give away 0 0.005 of a bitcoin every single friday to a random subscriber uh, if you'd like to earn that there's a couple of things that you need to do you need to subscribe to my youtube channel and how you do that is you just mouse over the video that you're watching and in the bottom right hand corner of the video is a youtube icon click that icon now so please pause the video go and do that step now once done you can come back to this video and resume the video now if you're not already logged into your gmail account then you'd need to log into your gmail account now below the video that you're watching on youtube there is a subscribe button so what you do is you click on that subscribe button and then next to the subscribe button is a bell icon you can click on the bell icon so please pause the video go and do those steps now once done, you can come back to this video and resume the video. The next thing that you do is you need to give a thumbs up. And then in the comment section, which is over here, you can leave a positive comment uh, with together with your uh, Bitcoin wallet address. Now, you have to follow the steps exactly to be able to get that prize. So you need to subscribe. You need to hit the bell icon. You need to give a thumbs up and you need to leave a positive comment with your bitcoin wallet address only then are you entered into the competition and are legible to win a prize if chosen so if you want to win 0.005 of a bitcoin i highly recommend that you follow those steps and then uh, you'll be eligible to win that prize so good luck and i hope you win that prize and if you do remember to invest it in a passive income stream and i'll see you on the next video you know that I'm gonna do it, right?